Hi, it's Monday morning and it's just morning tea time so we've stopped for a bit. Uh, we've already drilled this rock here and we're going to fill it with the expanding chemical cracking agent. As you can see I've already started filling a few holes and I've got some more expando over there. This is a road boxing project which is part of road construction. They pull out all the um, in situ ground and compact material in here, crush rock and stuff before they put the asphalt on top. And there's a few bits of granite in the way. This is where it started. And as soon as I saw, you know, these pieces in the first 10 metres, I went, oh, here we go. I'm going to be here for ages. But um, it's actually been pretty good so far. I haven't actually got time for big project at the moment. So hopefully they don't find too much more. See what I'm doing? That visor is so scratched up now after the um, South Marine Trench job. Can't see what I'm doing. Can't see where the holes are about to overflow. Yeah. Water in it. We just had to, the holes have got water in them. Yeah. Already. Water in them. Yeah. So you wouldn't count on using like anfo if you're shooting if you're shooting oh, today. No. It's too close to water and you hear it hit the bottom and go blah 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 into the water and secondly the first stuff that comes out of the hole is the water that gets displaced yeah, okay. because it's lighter just like you know, cement displaces water so it is. So the amount of water you put into it, 
it's had to give you a certain amount of time for it set, so does that, or is that, is that, or is that what the formula I requires? Know, I don't know what Way too thick, so either I count it two liters and not three. Or <laughs> um, well, sometimes the bags have more in it than what it, you know, more than five kilos in a bag. Yeah. So you mix exactly the right sort of water, and it's still really thick. So you go, oh crap, you've got to put some more water in quickly. And if you don't, it this will go off very quickly. It'll start smoking in the bucket, and your bucket will have a meltdown in you know in less than a minute. The whole thing will be on fire. Um, fire. Yeah. Yeah, it can get very excited, very quickly. Why the fire? Is that, that doesn't happen in the rock though, does it? Hey? That doesn't happen in the rock though, does it, a fire? Oh no, but the rock soaks up all the heat. Like if you put it in a piece of PVC pipe or something, um, yeah, it'll have a meltdown. Have you had anything, had anything close to that yet? Any what? Anything close to that happen? Yeah. Absolutely. Had it go off in the bucket and had to ditch the bucket. <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing. So that's all right, hey, look at that. A few days have passed, well, 
five days have passed actually until I've got back on this job. We stopped this job because I ran out of cracking agent. Uh, we ordered more on Monday, expecting to pick it up on Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday. And uh, I've got it Friday afternoon, believe it or not. It come from Sydney on the back of a tired snail. Tired government snail on Valium, I think, actually. But, um, yeah, well, I got down here late today. It's about time everyone else was going home. I uh, filled up these other rocks. And this one up here. And uh, another one further up there that I'll take you up and show you as well. This is the final rock. You notice it's all cracked up because it got some holes and got some fill ages ago. And we were going to punch it out uh, with the big excavator when it was here. But um, it went on the back burner and it didn't happen and the machine went. So I've stuck a few more holes in it to break it up a bit more. And there's another machine coming next week to give it a bit of a tickle and pull it out. That's the plan anyway. I don't think I'll be here to watch, but um, we'll see what happens. I'm sure I'll hear about it. Thanks for watching.